Hi, this is Deb Sukovic with Dual Dot Media. Today I'm going to show you how to airbrush in Photoshop. That's the finished product. Here we have our test subject. This is how we started out. And yes, this is a real person. So we're going to make his picture bigger 200% so we can get right into that skin tone. So first I like to go in and I like to take the healing brush or the healing tool and just go in and go onto the right onto the photography and just start cleaning up right from there. To do that you always hit the alt while on the tool and you can see that it's already starting to clean up. But it's not going to be perfect doing it this way. It's kind of a painstaking process to clean up skin tone. Still kind of bumpy and lumpy. Now I'm going to use a softer brush and I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to pick this skin color and I'm basically going to start airbrushing and smooth out tones. You can see I'm starting to pick other colors off of his face. And again, I'm going to add another layer. I, I never like to work on the same layer because basically that's where you get in trouble and maybe you can't undo. The best thing about Photoshop is once you start working like this, you can always go back and adjust and erase and just pretty much redo. And keep in mind we are using a photo that's we have up at 200% so when it gets down to the regular size it's going to look a little better anyway. And you can see I'm working with a, a darker color but a smaller brush. And we're just going to put a little bit of a shadow there. But because I don't want it to look as deep, we're going to erase some off. Going to re-highlight. And then I'm just going to merge those layers and I'm going to take the fill down just a little bit to give his skin back some texture. And basically that's it. This is Deb Sokovic. Thanks for watching.